Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the risks and the benefits of using your credit card for emergency expenses. And then I want to talk about what's emergency expenses. So a lot of people will say that they have an emergency. It's not really an emergency. And I want to talk about like the risk of doing that. So a lot of people say, oh, I had this come up. So I had to use my credit card. Rikita. It's like, it's, that was an emergency. Boo. It was not emergency. And now you messed up your utilization. Now you can't get your home loan. Now you can't get this car. And now your credit score is so low. And understand too, when you're using your credit cards, make sure that it's really an emergency because if you can't per if you can't pay that back, it's going to be harder for you guys to get additional credit cards, you know. So make sure that it's really an emergency. So some of the risk is we know if you guys cannot pay back that credit card, it's going to be harder for you guys to get approved for another credit card, um, especially if it messed with your utilization. So if you guys go to Credit Karma, you will see what your utilization is. I like that number to be at five percent or below. Because that's what's going to help you guys get the best, have the best credit score possible. So make sure you guys keep your utilization as low as you can keep it because it's going to make your credit score as high as it can get. Now, if you guys were to use your credit card, if you guys um, say if you were to have an emergency and you know that you possibly can't pay it back, what I will suggest and, you know, somebody said something on my channel like, why are y'all doing this? Y'all need to listen to Dave Ramsey. Y'all should not be getting um, financial advice from her and these different things. I'm not giving y'all financial advice. I'm telling you guys about the different credit cards out there. You guys know when you use a credit card and they charge you interest, they're going to continue to charge you interest until you pay it back period y'all should know this when you guys apply for credit cards but if you know that you have emergency and you're going to have to use your credit card i will suggest that and you're not going to be able to pay it back that's the key please apply for additional credit cards if you know that you're going to take months to have to pay it back and you don't want to mess up your credit because if you are to apply for the additional credit cards before your credit score was to go down then your utilization those other credit cards can help with your utilization so that your credit score don't have to be very low now i'm not telling you guys to take out debt to use this debt i'm just telling you that additional credit cards can help balance that utilization out when you take you know when you're going to use your credit cards so understand the risk of that and then also when you guys are using these credit cards they're charging you interest so if you do have an emergency if it's true if it's a true emergency that means you need to use your credit card right now period nothing else like some people have emergency like kid, i gotta pay my energy bill like those are emergencies they're gonna cut off my energy um i have to pay my rent like those are emergencies and i think that you should have credit cards for truly emergency you don't use it for anything else i have those credit cards i think that you should have credit cards um for that but i would suggest that if you know it's an emergency you still got a little time but you still can't figure it out you know what i mean like if you know it's going to take like you have to do this within the next two weeks i do suggest that you guys apply for an additional credit card that can have like a zero percent apr especially if your credit score is still good because when you guys use your credit card don't forget your credit score could go down so let me show you what i mean so this is my blog you guys rakita.com you can schedule a call here home buying application if you're looking to buy a home look at some of the home tours that i have done i did some i created some dispute letters it's only 27 dollars for the package and it's for like late payments student loans collections charge offs bankruptcies and i also have my membership so definitely check that out my members will meet up twice per month and then also i send out letters for you guys for free so it's no additional charge as long as you're a member i'll send out those letters to help you remove those negative accounts but let's check out the different um, credit cards so if you know you need to use your credit card um let's look at the best credit cards for cashback let's Let's go there and look at that. Then I want you to try to see if you can get a great credit card that will have like a 0% APR. So the first one to come up is the Discover a cashback card. This one right here have a 0% APR option. That means that they're not going to charge you interest for a certain amount of time. This credit card that is on this list, like the Chase Freedom, they have it too. The Saver One, I believe they have it. Blue Cash, um, the American Express, the also the Chase Freedom Flex. It's a lot of the 
cards on here but let's look at this one so you can see what i mean like if you know you have your mercy you have a little time try to get you one that will won't charge you any interest right now because it'll help you out a lot so right here zero percent intro apr for 15 months on purchases and balance transfers so if you know it's the emergency but you still have time try to get you a credit card like the discover they can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry and then you won't have to pay um any interest for 15 months, 0% APR. I do suggest that you guys do pay it off way before that 15 months. But if you notice you have to use a credit card, I will suggest that you guys get a credit card that can offer 0% um, APR for a certain amount of time. Usually it's like 12 months, some say 18 months. It's different for each credit card company. But at least if you guys were to have like an emergency, um, you guys put that charge on that credit card. You don't have to worry about have any additional fees because i see some people um especially where i'm from too like even some of my family members doing like payday loans and things like that and it's like just have your credit so to have your credit score really good so that you can get these zero percent apr um credit cards so that you don't have to worry about all the interest that is going to come from that because depending on how much you put on your credit card you may have additional 50 dollars per month that you pay in just an interest alone and you don't want to do that so that's some of the risk you're going to have to pay that um those additional fees and interest and stuff like that but the benefits is is that when you guys have your credit together and you have a decent credit score and you're able to get loans you have to get credit cards you have to get some people say i really need to get a car if you have to get a car at a very great interest rate then that's the benefit benefits you can get what you need like credit cards you can get loans to help with these emergencies some people have an emergency and it's just you have an emergency there's nothing you can do about it so i definitely like that you know, if you do have a decent credit score, you could possibly get these credit cards. You could possibly um, get these different loans. So that's some of the benefits, some of the risk, you guys. And I seen a comment, but I was just like, I Dave Ramsey, I use Dave Ramsey method. I paid off my car. My goal was, OK, I have this car. I want to get it paid off. I'm not going to pay on it for five years. I was like, I need to pay on it for two years less. And I did that. And I like Dave Ramsey for that situation, but everybody's situation is different. Like I just applied for um, some more credit cards. I got approved for um, additional credit cards. And those additional credit cards, say if I was to use my um, credit cards, is going to help me with my utilization because now I got more credit extended to me. So if I was to use my credit cards, it's not going to hurt me that much. So I'd be like, stay away from credit, stay away from credit. If I was to have an emergency, I have credit cards right now that have 0% APR for 18 months. You know, people don't just have that. And also credit cards that allow me to do a balance transfer. So say if I wanted to just, you know, instead of paying my full balance, I could just transfer this balance from this credit card to the one that have 0% um, APR for balance transfer. It's just beneficial, you guys. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody doing different things, going through different things. But I just feel like sometimes I should just put my two cents out there. If you wanted to take it, that's it. But I do want you guys to know the risk and the benefits. And I think the best thing about me making this video right now is just, and I use it myself. If you know you're going to use your credit cards and you're going to have, you basically going to use a lot of money on your credit cards, your utilization is going to mess up your credit. Go ahead and apply for additional credit cards so that those additional credit cards can help with your utilization. And also to try to apply for another credit card if you have time, like you're like, I need this money in two or three weeks. Apply for another credit card that can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry and that offer the 0% APR for 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, whatever it may be, 15 months. And those are two things I think that you guys really should have took from theirs and understand that you guys really pay an interest and don't just say something is an emergency. Oh, it's an emergency because I got a trip plan and I need to know you just want me doing that part of the trip. <laughs> you can still have a trip plan and then don't spend a lot of money on it for real i have a big family and we go on trips i'm not just going to spend unnecessary money so but definitely make sure you guys take this in and but for the person that had to let dave ramsey comment i love dave ramsey too but it just depends that you got um on everybody's situation and how you want to live your life 
you have to just think about it like that. I'm just here to tell you guys about the different credit cards and that's it, the different loan options and that's it. So hopefully you guys got that. Hopefully I see you guys in my membership. I do have the $1 trial to start. Definitely start that because we're meeting up on Friday, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.